The success of Professor Brian Cox and comedian Dara O'Brien's hit BBC show Stargazing Live Show has brought astronomy to the masses. Even CBBS have a program aimed at younger space fans too. So how do you go about checking out the stars in the night sky? To be honest, all you need is your eyes to why appreciate the solar system. However, it's important to know where and when to make the most of a stargazing experience. The ideal time to go is when there is no bright moon at night and when the sun has set enough so twilight doesn't affect your stargazing. Depending on where you live will determine how far you have to travel to stargaze image Getty depending on what you want to see will determine how far you need to travel. You need to get away from light pollution and there are five types of stargazing sites dark, rural, semi-rural, suburban and urban. If you want to observe the moon, planets and even some of the brighter deep ski objects, all look great through a telescope from suburban or urban areas. If you want to see the skies at their very best, you may need to go further afield. Driving a few miles out of town to semi-rural areas can make a huge difference. Professor Brian Cox's spectacular next tour will begin in Derby A Spokesman at Ghost Targazing, a website ideal for anyone with interest in astronomy whether beginner or expert, said getting the best views of our star-filled Milky Way requires finding a really dark sky site and for most people that means traveling some distance. The effects of light pollution on how we see the nighttime skies is dramatic. From a light-polluted town or city it's impossible to see perhaps 200 stars. However, from a dark sky site it is possible to see as many as 3,000 stars without any visual aid on a moonless night. In the UK there is a growing number of regions designated as dark sky parks, reserves and islands. In these locations measures are taken to keep light pollution to a minimum and are ideal for stargazing. These include Bodmin Moor, Cornwall Brecon Beacons, Wales Aylan Valley, West Wales Exmoor, South West England Galloway, Scotland Isle of Col, Inner Hebrides of Scotland Northumberland, North East England South Downs, Hampshire and East Sussex a little closer to home, in the East Midlands, are the following. Recommended stargazing sites Minninglow, Pike Hall, DE42 Peter Newton's Parsley Hay, Buxton, SK17 ODG Observatories Flamsteed Observatory, Brailsford, DE63BE Rosliston Forestry Centre, Swaddingcote, DE128JX Sherwood Observatory, Mansfield, NG175 LF Trent Astronomical Observatory, Nottingham, NG118NF Revealed All Your Nominations For the made in Derby Walk of Fame what to see to go stargazing. There are some types which can only be seen through a telescope or binoculars, but there are still many to enjoy with just the naked eye. The Milky Way The Milky Way over Apple Durkham House, Roxel on the Isle of Wight, during the Poseidon Meteor Shower, August 11, 2016 Image Getty This is the holy grail of going stargazing and can be seen with the naked eye. It is best seen in autumn when it is high overhead and spans much of the sky. You are looking for a band of light which looks like a smoke wave with dark ribbons running through it. Meteor showers These showers are associated with debris left behind by the progress of comets through the solar system. The dates are quite predictable and at times stargazers will see as many as 100 or so meteors an hour. Stars There are 88 recognized constellations however, many of us only recognize a handful, and that's due to the association with the zodiac. Stars are not usually alone and more often than not can be found in double, triple or even more complex associations. Star clusters vector sky map image getty sometimes in loose open groups open clusters are tighter balls globular clusters. The great globular cluster such as Hercules can be seen with a naked eye and open clusters such as the Pleiades or Seven Sisters are easier to spot. Galaxies These are very difficult to see, even via a large telescope. One of the best is the whirlpool which can be found quite close to the first star in the handle of the plow, the group of stars which is part of the Great Bear Ursa Major. Nebulae The night sky with stars in nebula image Getty These are gas clouds, and one of the most famous is the Great Cloud which forms the middle star in Orion's sword, which when viewed with binoculars or telescopes, shows itself to be a huge swirling cloud in which new stars are beginning to shine. The moon OK. This may seem a given but an occasional highlight is a lunar eclipse when the moon passes through the shadow of the Earth. Some eclipses even cause the moon to appear red. Planets It's possible to see most of the planets, all bar the most distant, with the naked eye, but all are much better with telescopes. The best to check out are Jupiter and Saturn, both of which show surface detail of cloud bands, rings and moons orbiting them. 
Aurora Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, overlock Lasconock, by Garth, Highlands of Scotland image Getty often called the Northern Lights, once seen is never forgotten with this spectacle. Those who live in the north are more likely to see the glowing arcs of light near the horizon, and many living in the Midlands have even seen the characteristic glow of red, green and purple. Satellites Earth is being orbited by much more than its own natural satellite, the Moon, and there are now hundreds of man-made satellites orbiting us. These can easily be seen by the naked eye and the largest is the International Space Station which orbits the Earth in about 90 minutes, a mere 250 miles above the surface. What to, to take with you all you need is to put yourself outside under the clear sky, but the experience can be made a lot more comfortable with a bit of forward planning and preparation. Clothing you must dress appropriately even in the summer months, as the evenings and nights can get quite cold. Winter, however, is a different beast. You can soon find yourself in sub-zero temperatures, and it's really important to check out the weather forecast before you venture out into the open countryside. Dressing in layers will help to trap air between them which increases the insulation, and it's really easy to strip the layers off if needed. Take a hat, scarf and gloves with you. Ghost Stargazing recommends gloves with removable mitten sections or with the fingertips removable in case you need to operate binoculars or a telescope. Take a look at the great soft play centers right here in Derby and beyond refreshments make yourself a flash of tea or coffee and take along some chocolates or biscuits for a sugar hit. Kendall Mint Cake is popular with climbers and mountaineers so it might be worth popping a couple of bars in your bag. Lighting be sure to take a torch but there are different types so don't get caught out. White light torches are an ideal to light your way around, but will mean that your eyes won't be as sensitive to low light levels, meaning your vision will take time to recover every time you use a white light torch. By far the better option is to use a red light torch. These have the effect of not stimulating your eyes' natural responses in the same way maximizing your night vision. You can buy cheap head torches that have a red LED option, these work well. You can take as little or as much equipment with you as you like when you go stargazing image getty equipment as long as you have provisions and are wrapped up warm there is no real need for any equipment, but if you have binoculars or telescopes, you will be able to see more. If you are not an experienced observer, don't forget to take star charts or books to help you check what you are looking at. A handheld star chart or planisphere is a great way of understanding the night sky but don't forget, you probably have a powerful computer in your pocket already, your smartphone. There are lots of apps which can be downloaded onto a smartphone and these will have the locations of the stars in the sky and can present a real-time view of the night sky for you to compare your view with. Some of these use the phone's GPS, compass and built-in inclinometer to mirror the way the device is pointing giving you access to information about the object your phone is pointed at. Here is a list of some apps can help flag up events and help you understand the night sky. Sky Week, Pocket Universe, Google Sky Map, Meteor Shower, Calendar, ISS Detector, ISS Spotter, Aurora Alert, Norovirus, How to Avoid and Beat the Dreaded Sickness Bug If you would like to join an astronomical society, here are the locations for ones in the East Midlands, Era Wash Museum and Gardens in High Street, Ilkeston, DE75JA, Gadsby Village Hall, Ashby Road, Melton Mowbray, LE74WF Gateford Park Primary School, 45 Roundhouse Crescent, Works Op S81, 7AL Rosliston Forestry Centre, Rosliston, South Derbyshire, DE128JX, Shipley Country Park Visitors Centre, Hena, DE757GX Wilson Pavilion at Oakham School, Ashwell Road, Oakham, LE157QH,